Hello everyone, I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Eric. And today we're playing Geek Geekvolution the board game. Yeah, uh, one of our faithful subscribers who's been subscribed to us for a very long time he, uh, made us this game. Yep. And Eric and I are going to sample it for you. We just got this. It's a board game sampler. We have <laughs> we have not played it yet. Nope. And I read the rules. We are yeah, uh, we, we have um we have looked at a couple cards and kinda gotten a sense of what the game is like, but we haven't actually played it yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks super fun and we can't wait to show it to you and to experience it for ourselves. Um I wanna thank uh, the viewer that sent us. I'm not I'm not sure if he wants us to say his name, so uh, I'm gonna talk to him later and if he's cool with it, you'll see his name, probably like right now. Uh, uh, it's Dantori. <laughs> it's not. It's not Dantori. Um, we did not make this game. This isn't. This is not us. Uh, nope. th this is. This is something uh, that we had nothing to do with whatsoever. But it is Geek the board game. First of all, this board is spectacular. Yes, it's great. Uh, it looks really cool. I love how colorful it is. Um, and uh, I can't wait for the references. Uh, look at all the kryptonite. Yeah. There's much kryptonite. That's part of the game. It's great. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, Eric knows how to play the game, so he's going to teach us uh, right now. Eric, how do you play Geek Solution the board game? All right, well, you have a die, mm -hmm. and you roll a die. We're each going to roll, and whoever gets higher number goes first. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, after that, you roll a die. That's how many spaces you move. Okay. If you land on any of these action spaces, mm -hmm. you spin the spinner, and it tells you if you're going to get one of these cards, which is a Primetime Crisis card, or if you're going to get a... Superhero Rewind card. Oh, cool. Uh, and you know, I expected the spinner to be for for how you move. Nope. Okay, cool. Yep. And so then, uh, Kryptonite, if you land on Kryptonite, you lose a turn. Oh, okay. Which means Eric will get to go twice. If that if that happens to me. Mm -hmm. and, right. and Eric is pow, and I am boom. Uh, I love all the comic words. It's great. Yep. All right, so okay. let's Here see what I get. I got a two. Top that. Uh, well, I, I'll try. I got three. Oh, you topped it. Oh, all right, here we go. That's me. Nope, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm boom. Excuse me. I'm boom. You're green. Yeah, uh, For some reason, I green color blind. Well, you, well, well, here's the thing. You asked me what color I wanted. You should ask what word I wanted. Because if I was picking by word, it would have been pow. But instead, since I said red, I'm going with boom. Oh, if we're going by word, I would have gone with zap. Zap. Yeah, all right. One, two, three, four. Mr. Brannigan. Oh, okay. Wait, I didn't explain. The whole point of the game is no, you're yeah, going through this whole thing. Like, to get to trying the to get cave? to the bat cave, exact number count. Exact number count, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you, if you're here, you have to get four. Oh, oh read the goal at the beginning, because it's really clever. Oh, okay. The goal. Welcome to Geek Volution the board game. Yeah. Live the adventure. Is that what it says? It says live the adventure. Oh, it does say live the adventure. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Geek Volution is an adventure. You are a new recruit of Captain Logan's, and you will, complete, you will compete in a race to Cap's legendary Bat Cave, with the winner earning a spot as a permanent Geek Volution contributor. I just I love that. That's great. And Eric has been through this journey. It's my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I am apparently uh, competing to be one of my own new contributors. You're not really supposed to play this game, I don't think. I'm not supposed to play this game. It's a little self-aggrandizing, really. <laughs> um, it, like if I had made this game, it would it would look like I was really full of myself. Okay, so I got blue. So what do I do? You sit there. Oh. Yep. That's exciting. It's my turn. Mm -hmm. I got four. We're on One, our two, way. Three, we four. We stopped at a gas station on the way to Geek Evolution headquarters. It's like a road trip all over again. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just I'm having deja vu real hard here. What if we make it through this whole game and don't land any of these? Well, um, we'll try to find a way to make One, two, this. Ah, oh, I lost my oh, turn. Lost oh, kryptonite. See, I was gonna say we'll find a way to make this this uh, 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 uh this playthrough uh, more more enjoyable. That's the way to do it. Just to lose your mind. <laughs> what superpower did you get, Eric? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I was on purple yeah. line. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad this game isn't any more it's complicated you, than it is. Turn. Oh, that's right. It's still, yeah. <laughs> the rules are not complicated, Cab. Bam! I right, spin the spinner. I on bam. Okay, here we go. Spinning the spinner. I love spinners. That's a good spinner. All right, right primetime crisis. crisis. You get to review a special episode of Lucifer, guest starring Constantine. Move ahead two spaces. That hasn't happened yet, has it? Uh, I wish that happened. Okay, move ahead two spaces. Wow, this is going to be real dated in a couple of years. Okay, uh, moving ahead two spaces. All right. Here you go. It's my turn. Mm -hmm. This is Six. very much a time capsule of Geek Evolution in the last couple of years, it looks like. It's awesome. Six.
I keep thinking mine's Dude. a bad fall. I lost the turn again. Ah, kryptonite. I guess a he, one weakness. I guess he Superman then. <laughs> That's his weakness. Otherwise, you'd be getting superpowers. Why would you do this? Oh, it's because of the kind of Crypto Freaks. Crypto Freaks corridor. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, so much kryptonite. Because <laughs> we know he's gonna land. He's he's like uh, he's like my wife going down um, uh, uh, Metcalf Street right 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 out, right out here in Overland Park. Just hits Park. every light. Just hits every light. Yeah. Uh, you gave me crap for saying Metcalf on the on the tick thing. You told everyone exactly where you are. No, I just. That's a street. No, I didn't. That's a street. This guy, no, I didn't. You no, gave no. the location. No, the reason I was giving you crap was because you didn't say like what city we were in, so nobody would know what you were talking about. That's all. I just that's said why I said street. No, you were like, now everyone's gonna know where I live. That's not no, what I you said. Just told them the, the town and street. Anyway, so um, I, I got Captain America in 1990. The superhero rewind cards are all um names of movies that I've reviewed. Yeah, there's an algorithm based on the actual the scores they got. Uh, give you go back spaces, go forward spaces. So any. Anything that got uh, a one or a two makes you go back two spaces or one okay. space. Three makes you move one space. Four makes you move so uh, I go back forward, two spaces. Three, uh, two spaces. And then if it got zero stars, you move back three spaces. Oh, okay. I don't mean to review this game. The star count should be on the cards. I agree. That would have been that would have been I think a little better. But um, but I'm glad to know from the instructions that there's a logic to that. That it's mm -hmm. based on the rating system. Just because it, it, it's a little bit more than just movie titles that way. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of cool. There you go. It's your turn again because I remember. Oh, that's right. Kryptonite. Okay, Kryptonite. Right. Mm -hmm. I can't keep track. This game is so complicated. One, two, three, four, five. Boo! Ooh, I dodged all that. Wow. Crazy Kryptonite. All right, here we go. Keep getting caught in that. I got superhero rewind again. Turbo A Power Rangers movie. Go back three spaces. <laughs> How appropriate. See, it's more fun than you thought it would be. All right. I don't think I draw I don't another think Smash so. Code. Three. All right. Uh, this this game is amazing because it is the only one of its kind. Uh, he could not have made another one because everything's handwritten. Oh yeah. I mean, he could, but it wouldn't be exactly the same. Uh, it's it's really cool. Just, just look at the love. You're just navigating the, the... the mm. I am. Well, I know how to get there. You know, I live there. That's why it's my, my back That's true. Uh, you attempt to defend most of Dr. Stein's decisions in Legends of Tomorrow. Go back two spaces. Oh, uh, yeah, I should quit doing that. I should quit. Well, I loved him in Flash, you know? He was great for a minute. Four. And you're not landing on any of the cards, I'm either. I'm going to get one of these cards on these days. <laughs> one of these days. One of these days, Lorraine. You're getting all the cards. I'm killing it. Time time crisis. Uh, you make a video comparing the writing of Arrow seasons one and two versus seasons three and four. Move ahead. Move ahead two spaces. Okay. I'm not making that video. These cards aren't art directions. They're not. Yeah. They don't. <laughs> if I made that video, it would just be things you've heard More me say before. <laughs> More kryptonite. Uh, prime time crisis. You have no explanation as to the sudden influx of aliens into Supergirl season two. Go back two spaces. That's right. I do not. Well, oh, he, so he made this real recently. Yeah. Yeah. That, yep. Or at least some of the cards he made. More some of the cards. Yeah. Six. Six. Kryptonite. Well, you're at Kryptonite or Crypto Freaks Corridor, but you know what? I didn't hit one of them. I know you didn't. I'm aware of that. Even when you went back, you didn't land on one of them, like, even though it wouldn't have affected you, theoretically. <laughs> you still only landed on the pow, Biff Bams. That's right. Bam, boom, ba -ba, boom. Oh, I got a zap. There you go. I get to spin the spinner. How's that feel? How's that feel finally spinning feels the spinner? Feels good. Feels good, Primetime Crisis. Adam West is casting Gotham. <laughs> Awesomeness ensues. Move ahead two spaces. Oh, you should have gotten five. Should have gotten five for that. Oh, stop giving my hopes up like that. Constantine and Lucifer, Adam West and Gotham. These things need to happen. Six. This is like blissful geek flu. This is like. Oh, I got kryptonite. How's it feel? Finally. Oh, oh, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts, but uh, I don't age anymore, so that's nice. I get to go again. I was in a wheelchair and I got I got aged backwards. One, two, three. I guess three. I do age. Smash. It. Smash! Bam! I mean, smash! Uh, that looks like it's in the middle. I would, I would spin, spin it again, again, yeah. Not that it matters. 
I don't suppose to do terribly much. <laughs> Prime Night Crisis! Prime Night Crisis. You attempt to discover how Cisco and... Uh, Caitlin. Sorry. I, I, I second there. You attempt to discover how Cisco and Caitlin... Look, his handwriting is impeccable, okay? It's, this is nothing about his handwriting. It's a little bit about his handwriting. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, it is really good handwriting, though. You attempt to discover how Cisco and Caitlin actually make a living. Move ahead two spaces. Oh, so maybe... Oh, no. I was going to say maybe the rewinds are all back spaces, but no. No, because no, the good ones, you go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all moving ahead in, 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 yeah, in the line. I mean, it's real simple, but the... the uh, I'm reviewing this game again. The references are fun. But the references are real fun, yeah. Okay, right, so it is your turn. you had to... Didn't you have to move somewhere? Oh, yeah. You didn't move. Two spaces, right? Was it forward? Two. Was it forward? Yeah. It didn't end up on the bottom. Oh. Um, yeah. It was you try to figure out what they do for their day jobs. But you got to go ahead for that? Yeah. Oh, weird. Okay. Six. Should have put on some good board game playing music. Six. Navigated that crypt tonight. Well done. Oh, but right next to it. Kryptonite feel asteroid field. What is good game uh, board game playing music? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just saying. One, something. Two, Zap! Zap! Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
You are tasked with trying to defend Olicity. <laughs> Move back two spaces. Can't be done. Alright, go ahead. Let's see if I can, if I can get around this kryptonite. Two! I, mar I barely made it past that kryptonite. And there's enough cards in each deck. Like, you probably oh, won't yeah. run through, through the whole thing before you finish a game. Smash! Uh, you try explaining why Coulson hasn't been revealed to the Avengers to still be alive. Go back two spaces. Also can't be done. Uh, according to Joss Whedon, as far as the movies are concerned, he's still dead. He's still dead. That's what he says in the Ultron commentary. Three. And that was supposed to be his TV show. Yep. Oh, wait. I'm just going to flip mine around so that I... Oh, You're real okay, anal about your pal. Well, yours is, yours is that way. I, not on purpose, though. Okay, uh, you find out Daredevil Season 3 features Matt battling Elektra on a playground. Move back two spaces. I cannot get past this area. I just Have keep going. Have you ever listened to the one commentary? One step forward and two steps back. And with, they, they with, just think it's genius. With Avi Arad? Yeah. Uh, where, uh, yeah, I have. The director says, uh, uh, Mark Stephen Johnson says. Mark Stephen Johnson, yeah. He's, he says, uh, well, you know, there's 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 some debate about this scene. And Avi Arad goes, what? Whether it's great or really great? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Yeah, Eric and I were just having that conversation last night. Hey, Eric, do you think that playground scene is great or really, really great? great? Yeah. What about the part where he, like, throws his stick and then he stands there and then it takes a cartoonishly long time to come down? That's great. That being said, I like them taking off the jackets simultaneously. I like that, too. I, thought that, I think that's what No, there's bits at. of that that I like. Three. It's, One, two, three. it's playfully Kaboom! romantic, but it's goofy as all get out. Superior Rewind. Punisher Warzone. Go back one space. Boo! <laughs> I'm sorry. Punisher sorry. Warzone's better than that. I'm sorry. I, I, I only gave it like one and a half stars, I think. Did you also, like, Rod <laughs> spend your entire review talking about how you can't spin on a chandelier firing a gun? No, I did Therefore, not. Therefore, that ruins the film? I didn't have a problem with that. That's the internal logic. That, that's a little heightened film. I don't have a problem yeah. with that. Roger Ebert did. No, I'm but it's forgiven. But it's a real unmemorable movie. I don't remember what my beef with was. It's a 1.5. Well, go. and that was one of your not, I also don't, not actual rewinds. Again, I wish these had the star ratings on them. Yeah. Because I don't have them all memorized. Like, I don't remember. It's based on the on that, that particular Kaboom. view. Boom! Like, sorry, I was going to spin for you. I don't know what's wrong with me. Super Rewind. Yep. Ghost Rider, go back one spin. <laughs> <laughs> you, but you're not going to argue that that's a better movie than that. No. You're not going to. Then that got a two. Yeah. I don't got a two. Yeah, go back one space is, uh, is two stars. That's two. It's two movie. Kryptonite. Do you remember in A Bug's Life? I'm almost there, though. Not in A Bug's Life. I'm almost to my basement! Do you remember in Toy Story 2, the after credit scene with A Bug's Life? Yeah. Where they're going through, and he's like, oh, I'm yeah, so I glad like they're going to make Bug's Life 2. He goes, well, it is a two movie. It's a two movie. <laughs> but, it, but it's not a Bug's Life 2. Now I get to go again because you're on Kryptonite. It's on Kryptonite, I know. But it happens so rarely, I always forget. I never forget. <laughs> it's my last smash, you guys. It's my last card, probably. Unless I go back, and then it, it, there could be another one. Uh, Arrow Season 6 keeps the flashbacks simply using scenes from Season 1. <laughs> Move ahead two spaces. I made that joke just the other day. It's like he made this game three days ago. All right, so this is one of those games. Yeah, I'm gonna criticize this game a little bit because I hate this game. I'm gonna have to sit here forever while, while I'm. Spinning you have the exact to get roll. the exact number, so you need to get one, two, no three. Does this count as a space? I thought so. So it's three then. Well, but you were here, right? This is your smash. No, no, but I moved ahead one because of that card. Oh, it was only one. I thought it was two. Two. Oh, it is two. Yeah, it is so two. You're here. I'm sorry. You have I'm to there. Get one, right. two. Yep. Or maybe one. I'm not sure. No, probably two. Okay. I would think this. Would I would count that as a space. Yeah. Two, three, bam! Bam! Prompt of crisis. You argue, uh, you argue with commentators. Ah, you argue with commenters as to whether Daisy or Sky is a better name. Lose two spaces. <laughs> lose two spaces. Does it say lose two spaces? It says lose. Oh, they didn't mispronounce. Lose them. your space. No, but but they've always said go back. Yeah. Lose your spaces. Your parking was not validated. Nope. Your turn. Four. He's going to catch me. Two, three, four. Smash. 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 Spin it. Spinning. 
Spin it. Private crisis. Mm-hmm. You try to explain why Gordon's voice is extra gruff this week. <laughs> Lose two spaces. Uh, it's brand new day. In Gotham. And the sun is high. All the birds are singing that you're gonna die. Five. This is why I don't like this mechanic. Yeah, no, I don't either. Six. One, two, three, four, five? Do I just sit? Five, six. Six, no, you're not. I did it. You win. I won. Ah. You, won. you shouldn't have won. And I got stuck in a kryptonite. Yeah, too. you shouldn't have won. You only won because I couldn't roll a two on my first go. And that's how I uh, won Geek Pollution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, so thanks a lot for watching. This is the last time you'll ever see me on the channel. And I'll um, you on occasionally. Oh, thanks, buddy. Sure appreciate it. Uh, so this is Geek Pollution, the board game. Uh, what do you think, Eric? This is fun. It's fun. Yeah, uh, some of the references are great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's really fun as a as a snapshot in time of of the of, of what superhero culture, especially on TV, looks like right now. Yeah. And I really uh, like it. Yeah, and some of the things we've laughed about and complained about. Yeah. It's, it's kind of fun to see all that stuff in here. Um, well, this is great and um, really neat that somebody took the time to do and it. None and none of you will ever get to play it. Yeah, that's true. There's, there's only Suck the one, it. and we've got. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. We sure appreciate it. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Eric. We'll see you again real soon.